On July 20th, 1969, 10 million Canadians watched on TV as Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. On September 28th, 1972, 12 and a half million Canadians tuned in to see Paul Henderson jam a last minute rebound past Vladislav Tretiak. You gotta love it. More Canadians were interested in watching Hockey Night in Moscow than Armstrong's Lunar Leap for Mankind. But then again, it makes sense. Hockey and television are Canadian obsessions. Mix the two of them together, throw in the Red Menace and a whopper of a national identity crisis, and you've got a potent ratings cocktail. For 27 days that September, we were glued to our sets, facing the abyss. Well, at least the distinct possibility that Canada was no longer the world's supreme hockey power. And if we weren't the best hockey players on the planet, then who were we? Fortunately, we didn't have to answer that question. When a relatively obscure winger from the Toronto Maple Leafs scored with a mere 34 seconds remaining, our national implosion was put on hold. Of course, in a televisual instant, Paul Henderson's life changed forever. He was transformed into a pop icon, the national savior who could skate. After the conquering hero returned to Canada, he had to hire a secretary to answer the deluge of fan mail. Henderson's endorsement opportunities went through the roof. The rest of Henderson's hockey career was, to understate the case, anticlimactic. Within a few years of saving the country, our savior was out of the NHL, playing in the hockey hotbed of Birmingham, Alabama. Today, a quarter century after the series, the Soviet Union doesn't exist. There are scads of Russians earning hard currency in the NHL, and the term Team Canada now refers to a bunch of dorky-looking provincial premiers going overseas with the Prime Minister to try to attract international investors. Times have changed, but Paul Henderson will never escape his indelible pop moment. It's in a state of perpetual replay. As he said in 1992, the 20th anniversary of that seminal Canadian TV event. Even today, no matter where I go, people want to thank me for scoring the goal.